You're telling me all this time that I've been trying to get with Carjo? You don't swing that way? I don't think so. How you sure? Because you can't romance him. <laughs> this is true. You can't romance a lot of characters, though. Can't romance any Khajiits. Well, yeah, but you can't romance a lot of characters. You can actually romance a lot of them. Maybe Khajiits are like... They just they just don't want it. No, that's because Bethesda is shitty. <laughs> is that really it? I don't know. I, was... I know I'm annoyed that no female Khajiits were a marriage option. Oh, that's your first problem. Female Khajiits. Even male. I was really sad when I found out that one of the uh, uh, Khajiit merchants was actually a Thalmor spy. What? Uh, the one that travels between... Uh, when, uh, you mean uh, a th Thalmor spy? Yeah. Okay, I heard Thalmor spy. I was like, how does that work? Okay. There's a Thalmor spy, huh? Which one is it? Uh, the one that circles between... Windhelm. I don't remember their path. I think it's Windhelm, Morthal, and Markarth. Oh, turn that fan off. Nope. Top left button. Other top left button. All right. So in the last episode, we uh, we we said goodbye to Katria, and then I spent about nine hours dealing with uh, Carjo in my inventory. So Carjo is now in full ebony armor, and yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, that's that's it. So we're gonna go to uh fuck to say that. In Sarfall? <laughs> Ingdenboro? Run to a burial. If you have too many quest targets, check your journal to see if you have more than one active quest. In the miscellaneous category, you can turn each objective on or off. Thank you. Do, do I turn you on or off? It's about a solid off. It's like a five in the middle, it's just, just, yeah. just neutral. Nothing really, but Skyrim, glorious Skyrim. You're very obvious in this snow, buddy. <laughs> that armor looks so good, though. Do you like ebony armor in Skyrim? Yeah, I like it. I like, I like that. It's got out. like a samurai look to it. That's it, why I like it. It does, doesn't it? It's a little bit, uh, yeah, a little bit samurai. -y. Are we going the right direction? It looks more samurai e than fucking the blades armor. The blades armor is supposed to be samurai armor. Oh, is it? Hmm? I thought it was supposed to be like Middle East armor. No. If you, uh... Oh, yeah, okay. I thought you were talking about the Akavir. Or whatever. Yeah. Ah! He just bit the shit out of you. Yeah. What? I said he just bit the shit out of you. Mm-hmm. Since I'm in the wrong menu, let's do this while we're here. What is my fucking potion? There we go. Woo! Oh, good. I only have skooma. <laughs> All right, we're dead. <laughs> Unless I can eat something. What's this do? Restore magicka, ravage magicka. What? <laughs> what? Excuse me. I'm gonna back away. Ah, uh, yeah, I'd like Carjo fight that one for you. I would have been fucking hysterical if I fell off that ledge and died from the fall damage. <laughs> oh, Are you down. impressed by this? This is like a laser pointer to Khajiits. Ooh. I don't think he cares. I don't think he cares either. I don't think he can see out of that helmet. I I wouldn't be surprised. Ah, I feel like I just woke from a nap. Uh huh. You should be able to hear what he's saying because my fucking headphones are so loud. Oh yeah, I did. Yeah. I, um, <laughs> he's like, I fell. Like <laughs> from he just screams at you. But what now? What the fuck? Oh god damn it! All right, we're on easy. It's fine. <laughs> should be fine. Huh? I said it should be fine. I'll take one year butt out. <laughs> Why, so I can hear you? Probably. Wow. The difference. Easy. Easy. Ooh. Ooh. That's fucking... Thank you, delivery system. <laughs> Hang on, let's just... Oh, we can't see any. What are you doing with that bow? <laughs> you were saying? Um... No, I was just gonna say that it sucks that Bethos didn't make any of the Khajiits in the game romanceable. What is their deal with Khajiits? Is it because they don't want people fucking animals? Or romancing animals? There's plenty of Argonians. That's, what, that's what I romance. mean, though. You can romance Argonians easily, but it's just like the Khajiits you can't. I don't know why. The Khajiits got really shafted in this game. 
I was say, is there like a lore reason maybe why you can't? Or is it just really they just don't want you romancing Khajiits? Well, the thing that's broken about that is it can't be a lore aspect that you can't romance Khajiits because the Khajiit can romance other people. You only mind a little bit of that. True. Yeah, I don't care enough to mind the rest of it. It's true, because I'm a Khajiit and I can romance other people. Yeah, that makes sense. So it's kind of silly because Yasolda is like one of the main people that is like all four Khajiits. Ow! <laughs> I hate the rare achievements. They're so fucking loud. You got an achievement! I don't know why it's... Oh, Jesus. I, I would have been... I don't know why it's a rare achievement anyway. I still don't understand how this system works. It's like less than 10... Carjo. It's like floating. <laughs> Alright. We need to be there. Oh. Oh. Okay. What? I didn't realize you did that. <laughs> well, I think this is too shallow to just suicide into. Uh, I'm pretty sure. What are we doing here? What am I doing here? I don't know. It was a miscellaneous quest. Oh, I wanted to see something. So they said you could turn stuff on and off. What happens if you just turn everything on? That is not gonna be a good idea. <laughs> oh god. Why? <laughs> because you've tempered, tampered with the uh, natural balance. <laughs> it's the Langoliers. They're coming to get me. <clears throat> um, okay, this is giving me like. You think people play like this? Probably. Without knowing that you can turn this shit on and off? Probably. Oh god. You're turning too many on and off. There. Alright, that's better. I have two objectives now. What? What? I hate being in water. It makes me afraid. Yep. I have the same fucking fear. Aquaphobia. Hydrophobia. I just don't like a lot of deep water. Neither do I. Okay, so I should probably mention, since the last episode I didn't have like half of this stuff, I leveled up like 17 times and my smithing's a lot higher. I haven't... I have no idea, but we're level 36 now. I think we were level 34 in the last episode. My smithing was like 60-something, and now it's 76. So... We have a lot of that ability. Um, my I went into archery and made it so I, my bow draws 30% faster. Uh, I leveled up a bunch of ebony stuff. That's why Karja is in full ebony armor. And uh, I have Zephyr now. So, yeah. I also have a helmet that does... Gives me bow damage. So, yeah, I have a just a bunch of shit now. So, if you're if you're wondering why I'm like drawing this bow like insanely fast, that would be why. Is, is that reason. I feel I feel need to go through these, even though I don't really have to. <laughs> I really wish that um, drew like the quick draw thing was an actual perk you could get, like to put on the armor. Oh, like an enchantment? Because <laughs> Zephyr is the only bow in the game that has an extra thirty percent draw speed. It's the only thing in the game that has a draw speed. Well, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I need to find Arundel's journals. Oh, I picked this up when I was um, grinding my inventory. Somebody in the Thieves Guild asked me to go find some journals. Oh, that was really echoey. <laughs> I mean, you're in a cave. Yeah, it was really weird, though, because it was like... Huh. It was really, really weird. Look at that, a potion healing. Mm -hmm. This is a Falmer cave, isn't it? Um, Forsworn. Yeah, it... What? What is that? Looks like a Forsworn to me. Bandit. It's, I think it's a Draugr. Oh yeah, that's definitely a Draugr. The fucking... Horns. Antlers. Made me think it was a <clears throat> Forsworn. No. Karjo. Why? I, I see why Karjo dies for you a lot. He hasn't died since... He's only died two or three times in the entire time I've had him twice in that first day that I had him. Because he has less health than Lydia does. Yeah. He has half the health of Lydia. So you lied to me. Oh, he does? Yeah. I didn't fucking know. Is this a bad person? No. Oh. Time to end this little game. Did not realize that. Yeah, he has... He technically... Oh, God. He's technically got half the health of Lydia. Lydia has like 100 and then all of the fucking math and whatnot. Cardio starts at 50. I don't see why that's a problem. <laughs> it's half health! 
So, you want to read this? No. <sighs> Why are you so against reading? Because I'm bad at reading. Arundel's Journal, Day 1. It seems the Cretans of Dawnstar are not quite a foolish. Quite a foolish? Quite as foolish as I had surmised. They found my experimentations and, needless to say, were not pleased with what they saw. No matter, my work can only flourish without the distractions of living amongst the unenlightened. Uh, how long is this? Alright, that's fine. I have found a cave off the north coast of Scrim. That will be more than sufficient for my continued studies. The ruins of M mm should hold the materials I learn fucking seeing the reanimation and enslaving the dead. Only on a personal note, I will miss the young maidens of Dawnstar. Such beauty was intoxication. I often found my thoughts wandering around them, imagining secret encounters between myself and one or two of the local girls. Fucking, what are you, gay? <laughs> it's gay to lay. I, I think it's a little opposite of gay, it's, but... It's gay to lay, girls. I, didn't you ever have, like, a secret fort when you were young and you hung out with all the boys and you're like, no girls allowed, they're your cuties. I, I only hung out with girls. <laughs> Did you really? I also only hung out with girls. <laughs> we turned out very different, you and I. Yeah, that's all right. What other, uh... Of the perks do you have for your archery? Just like the fast draw speed. Um, I hate. I can't ever keep my menu straight. Um, there's probably a reason for that. Where is the archery? There it is. Okay, you got just about everything. About that. Yeah. You don't like the slowdown with the I, zoom in? No, I bought that a long time ago on one of my old characters, and I hated it ever since. Alright. That's fair. Hmm. Well, gee. That's kind of pointless. I guess I won't be... Is there really no reason to be in here? Shut up. Is there really no reason to be in here? Looks like it. Huh. I guess I'll go this way, then. <laughs> Take an arrow, Lindy. Hmm. You mean she got married? I like how the people at Bethesda came forward and they're like, you know, everyone's making a lot of deal out of this. It was just a line. It, it wasn't even meant to mean anything. It was just a line. Yeah. So we're either going to come back this way or there's a lever opening that. I'm assuming that's how we're going to get back at the end. Maybe. I think the it leads outside. Think so? Think so. Maybe. Yeah. Things like you may need a uh, world run step for that. World run sprint? Yes. That's step. Yeah. It's been a while. You should still. It's Skyrim. You can never forget. You can't fuck. You can't forget what Skyrim. What's going on? I can remember more of uh, Oblivion than I can of Skyrim, to be honest. Can you? Yeah. That's kind of why I was excited to play Special Edition because. Um, I, I remembered so little of it. I mean, I can remember a lot about Skyrim and what happens, but I didn't care for it as much as I did Oblivion. I can see that. Apparently there's a way to pick these with like 100% accuracy. What do you mean? There's a way to do it. Like if you go into a lockpick and you're moving the thing around, if you just drag the lockpick around, it'll click when it gets to where it's supposed to, where it opens, and then you just go when it's done but i tr i've tried it a couple times and i can't i can't get it done. i was gonna say i've never heard it click i was watching because it shouldn't i was watching a video of a guy and he's like yeah you just go to a master lock and boom it's done he just went and stopped and then opened it like immediately it was really interesting huh i've yeah i've never been able to actually do that that's interesting you fight a death lord I'm digging that stagger though. The reason we're playing on easy is because I need to fill soul gems. <laughs> and it's easier to do it on easy than it is on master. Yeah. And this stuff is actually giving my soul gem stuff, which is hard enough to have stuff count for soul gems. Oh yeah, I have this. <laughs> Traitor. Yes. Yes. I like how I tell you the story, and you're like, oh. 
I've made a mistake. Only slightly. I feel like you were already here. Yeah. Copy pasted areas are <sighs> wonderful. Watch this be like four. <laughs> like I've missed the other ones. Wait a minute. Day eight. I've established a temporary workstation in the cold ca hang on. In the cold caves, I have found multiple burial chambers within the snow and ice, and while in the first chamber I exhumed a few test subjects, all female Really? All female. All female test subjects in the first he left the town where all of those maidens were, and now he's reanimating the dead to fuck. I mean... Is that necrophilia? It, fuck yeah, it is. Well, it's not de It's not a dead body. It is. It's an undead It's body. an animated body, it's so a, it's dead. Eh. It's a dead body that has been brought back. <laughs> it's completely necrophilia. You have, you have to fill him with your essence to keep him alive. Oh my god. Can you imagine if that was a stipulation? Like, you could come back from the dead, but you had to have at least one load inside of you a day. That'd make life interesting. It would make life very interesting. Especially if you, if, especially if it was female and you could still get pregnant. Oh god, that would suck. Have they ever made like an undead woman get pregnant and have like an undead baby? I don't think have that's they a ever, thing. Have they ever touched on like, can they do that? I don't like, think so. Like, are they still fertile or is everything dead? Like, oh. when, like when you reanimate a body. Well, everything would still be dead. When you reanimate a body. I mean, it depends on how fresh the body is. I suppose, but it's like, okay, like a drogger. Like, if you reanimate a drogger, are you just, like, are you really just controlling, you're basically puppeteering it. You're not actually giving it life again. You're just making it move in the way you want to. Yeah. Yeah. So there's no, like, nothing's going on. Yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, I was stunned to find my mind wandering again in the women of Dawn. Oh, look, I fucking, <laughs> the next sentence. Uh, at first I was slightly disturbed by my thoughts, but later I found myself re-evaluating. He did. He fucked the dead bodies. The first trial went splendidly. Trial, huh? Is that what we're calling it now? Uh, each subject was reanimated in a state of total compliance. Complacency. Oh, good. <laughs> Bending to my every task and whim. I have ordered a few of my new servants to guard the island. Is that what you call it? While the rest will act as my personal entourage, standing by me at all times, standing watch over me while I sleep. Oh, Lord. Keep forgetting to hit the A button. Fucking... Creepy. It is creepy. <clears throat> it but is yeah, creepy. by that's all means necrophilia. I hate. I hate that. <laughs> I guess if it's a ghost, though, you can't really, you know, fuck it. What do you mean, like with your like a penis? <laughs> yes. You mean like that kind of fucking it? I thought you meant like hitting it with the, with the bow. I mean, I'm. It's weird in this game because in at least Oblivion it stated like, oh, well, you know, the supernatural were only affected like by silver. Right. And higher tier silver kind of things. <laughs> and then in this game it's just like, yeah, iron bow. Right. Any bow can kill him. Any bow, any arrow, any sword. Yeah, they kind of gave up on the whole like specialty thing. Probably because people complained that, like, that first, like, what, like, whatever ruin was right outside of, like, the city. Like, when you left and there was, like, a, like, when you first leave, uh, what's the Imperial City? And you go across the bridge, and there's, like, a fucking, like, inn or something right on the right-hand side of the road. To, like, the left and, like, a hundred, maybe, like, a hundred feet to the left, there's a fucking entrance to a thing full of ghosts that you can't kill for, like, the first half of the game. Ah. And people were probably like, um, I... You know what you're saying? You couldn't do anything about it. Nah, you need... You basically need, like... You needed silver tier weapons or higher, and then you needed, like, magic. Was silver a tier? I thought you had to use silver weapons. I didn't think it was, like, a limit. Like, glass and... No, I thought it was... Adric I thought you had like to use... Up. Day 21. An intriguing development. Tonight, my guards have brought me a trespasser they found near the cave. At first, I was understandably upset. Not only was I disturbed during one of my few moments alone with my favorite... God damn it. But I recognize the trespasser as a milkmaid. <laughs> a fucking milkmaid from Dawnstar. She remembered me as well and made bold claims that I had been lurking uh, near her at all hours. What lies? True, I had taken notice of her on occasion, but she was nowhere near the most noticeable of maidens in the town. Her continued accusations, coupled with my fear of a more uninvited guest, led me to conclude that she could never return to Dawnstar. My servants were quick to carry out my sentencing. 
Her body is ne here next to me as I write this. Funny, her eyes are still so full of life. Perhaps I will try a new experiment tonight using fresher materials. Good fucking Christ. I vaguely remember this, but... Man, he's fucked up. Yeah, that's... Especially if you look at the dark in it. What do you mean? Because <clears throat> you can just read that the as... The darkness inside. Yeah. You can just read that as words, but the actual meaning behind it's really fucked up. I mean, yeah, if you if you never actually read those books and you were just picking them up to get the quest done, you'd never know that he was a fucking... He was a fucking... Something smells foul. A necrophiliac. <sighs> huh? Huh? My fuck buddy. Huh? There, he's dead now. Jesus. Man, easy is sad. Yeah. This is how it is when you play on, a. Uh... Well, yeah, easy. This is what happens when you do the glitch to get everything to, like, infinite. Like infinite. What do you mean? Like the potioning glitch? Yeah, the potion glitch. Oh, yeah. And, like, everyone's like, that's how you play Skyrim. I'm like, no, it's boring. My biggest issue is that, like, I wanted to make sure I was, like... Mirax stuff is at the maximum you can get it at, like, level 60? I think 60 is when his stuff is at, like, the maximum. So it's like, how the fuck are you supposed to be level 60 when you fight Mirak? If you're playing on easy, there's no way to do it. You have no way to get that much experience while fighting through Skyrim to get up to Mirak to be 60. Like, there's no way to do it. Well, apart from... that an enemy? I guess an enemy. It is now. Oh, it was the milkmaid. Yeah. <clears throat> it was his milkmaid. Ugh. Oh, God. Day 28. The new experiment has proven a success. The milkmaid, whose name is still escapes me, was revived as the others, bowing to my commands, with only one interesting development. She has re reformed incorporeally, more phantasm than reanimated dead. As her glowing visage oh God, stood before me, I found oh God, my hand reaching out to touch her. As my fingers passed through her, I felt a sensation unlike any other, as if her essence were invigorating my very soul. Connecting with me on a level no woman of flesh and blood could do. This discovery is life-changing. This is two weeks later, relatively. Uh, I have ordered my older servants to go out and find more subjects that may become lost. That have that may have become lost. With the discovery of the inner sanctum deeper still within... I should have sufficient room to store many new materials until I can transform them into willing slaves. I look back on my daydreams whilst living in Dawnstar and wonder if they were in fact... Uh, portents of times to come. Basically, he was thinking all the people he could have fucked in Dawnstar, he will now turn into fucking reanimated slaves. That's fucked up. It, yeah, it, it's a bit fucked up. It is a bit fucked up. Ooh. That's interesting. A staff of charming is down here. Jesus. Um. Yeah, that's it. And they just walk back. I'm pretty sure there should be like an escape. Like a thing that lets me out of here in an easier way than that. I would think. No, not all dungeons were ah. like that. Well, fair enough. <laughs> ah -ha, ha ha Yeah, not all dungeons are like that, but most of them are just because of how big they are. Oh. Well, that's upsetting. Hmm. The dead body. Mm hmm. <clears throat> Let me guess, that was the very entrance you came in. No. Oh. Let me guess, this goes to the door that I found earlier. Probably. Or just goes outside. Huh. That too. Oh yeah, we were in the inner, we were in an inner barrows or something. We were actually in a, sec a separate zone. Ah. Yeah, the only way I can think of on easy to get up is basically doing the illusion. Just boosting that up. That's the problem. It's like, I actually read that it's like, if you use the skills you have high leveled, you actually get more experience for leveling the stuff you have that's strongest. So like, my archery is 85 and I do a shit ton, I do like double damage with all my bows and stuff. Yeah. And then like, if I use even stronger arrows, like as that levels up, as it continues to, it like snowballs. Yeah. So, like, as you get higher with a skill, you're supposed to keep using that until it hits 100, and then go to a different one. You're not supposed to, like... Because to me, I would have just leveled up, like, a low-level thing, as opposed to working on archery. But I guess you're not supposed to do that, which is weird. I don't know. I just... 
wanted to be 36 so I can go do stuff. I mean, I mean I you could get, get to, five, what was the level cap eight. originally? It was like 81. 80, yeah, 81. Was That's it 81? That sounds about right. I knew there was a level cap, and I knew the way to get there was by getting every skill to 100, mm -hmm. and then the legendary came in your with skills came out, and then... Now you can get to, like, 256 or something. You can only get to 256. Yeah. You can get up to, like, 256, like, skill points, and that's, like, as much as you can go. Oh, okay. And if it goes higher than that, it, like, lapses back to zero or something. Oh, okay. That's weird. It's like Gandhi in the original Civilization. Oh, okay. It just lapses over because no, there wasn't programmed a number higher than that or something. I don't know what it is. I just know I don't have the patience to sit there and do whatever you're supposed to do to get that kind of stuff leveled up that much. Yeah. And there was a lot of times I just sat there and did boring stuff like with Shadow Mirror and Destruction. You sit there and shoot him. The fire, yeah. Go what? find some low-level bandits and level up your alteration and, like, restoration and stuff. My biggest, uh... Actually, right now, I have to be really careful because, um... <laughs> I have to be careful because there is uh, the Nightingale Blade is bugged, and if I get the level 45 version of it, because I want the 36 to 45, not the 45 plus, because the 45 plus can't be tempered. Really? Yeah. So I want the level 36 version, which is has a, has weaker enchantments, but I can temper it. Okay. So I need to make sure I get the Nightingale stuff done. I actually, I want to get the 36 so I can go back to the Thieves Guild nonsense and do all that. Is that all that was here? Just the one guy. Or girl. Or thing. If Argonians don't adhere to gender stereotypes. <laughs> Are you assuming my gender? Are you assuming my lizardiness? Okay. Looks like nothing done in this half. Yeah, I'm assuming it's in the stuff that's underwater. Yeah. And treasure. Damn it. <laughs> I don't know why these lockpicks are made out of, like, charcoal. I miss the oblivion lockpicking. Oh, if you like the... Have you ever lockpicked an ESO? Yep. I love it. Yep. It's so much fun. Damn it. Where the fuck is this? Right there. <laughs> no. Nope. Okay, now right there. I like how when you get lock picking to 100, you have a choice between getting like two skills, and it's make master your locks easier to lock pick or lock picks never break. I wonder which one I'll choose. Lock picks never break. Yeah. Or you just get the skeleton key. Um. I guess that was. Oh, I need to return to Vakel. Oh, that's convenient. We need to go back to the Thieves Guild. <laughs> so now I can go on the Thieves. Well, actually, I have to go to Solitude and talk to Gollum I. I hate that quest. Yeah, I hate the trailing the fucking Argonian through the shipyard thing. Yep. What's your least favorite faction in this game? Least favorite. Like Companions, Thieves Guild, Dark Brotherhood, Mages Guild. Or College, I guess. Um. I know I hated trying the 100% the Thieves Guild. Because you have to do all those side missions. Yeah, you gotta go talk to Delvin and do all the little... Radiant quests in every city. Five times in every city or whatever. Five times in Solitude, five times in Windhelm, Whiterun, and Arkarth. Mm -hmm. The major cities. Yeah. Yeah, that shit sucked. I did not like that. Um, the Dark Brotherhood wasn't bad. I didn't like the alternate Dark Brotherhood. What do you mean? Um, when Astrid, the first time you meet Astrid, she's like, kill the, one of these three, and I'll let you go. You can kill her, and after you so kill her, you can go talk to the Imperial the dude. Good. Uh, in Dragon's Reach. What's he sweeping with? The invisible God, broom of fuck you. <laughs> yeah, did you know about that? You can go, you can kill Astrid and then you go talk to him and you go and destroy the Dark Brotherhood. I knew you could kill Astrid. Yeah. I don't think I've ever done it. Yeah, there's a quest to actually kill the Dark Brotherhood. Mm, so you can just take it out. Which is easy early game because you get all the armor and you get the Blade of Woe and everything. Mm -hmm. you, you don't get the Jester clothes from Cicero, obviously. But you get everything else, and then you get like another like ten thousand gold on top of it. Huh. So sounds pretty good. It's not bad. Leave me alone. Until next time. <laughs>
Did you notice that's where I got that new outro from? Where? In there? Uh -huh. Well, when I got it from when Dirk, when I saved Dirkethis in like episode 8 or whatever, when you leave some people in Skyrim, they'll say until next time. Mm. And he said at the end of that episode, and I was like, you have anything to say, Dirkethis? And he's like, until next time. And I was like, exactly. And then I started using that as my outro now. All right, let's go find Gallimai, because, you know, trailing an Argonian is the most fun thing in the world. I hate, I hate that. Yeah. I, that, that annoys me, is that it closes every time you go in and then come out. Here's a shortcut. It's Bersi. He's getting so angry about the corruption Beautiful in Riften, he said he's going to walk right up to Maven and give her a piece of his mind. If I see him, I'll make sure he doesn't do anything brash. Don't worry. Um, brash, eh? <laughs> anyway, you were saying? <laughs> um, I was a little disappointed with the guild, like the different guilds and stuff in this game compared to Oblivion. Like the Dark Brotherhood felt a lot shorter. We should talk about that. To you, friend. Okay. You with a sword in your hands. I've never seen me all this upset about anything. The next episode. Next episode. There we go. You're a stranger here. I figure that's what you're trying to say. Shh. Oh, oh, that reminds me of something. I gotta talk about something. It's it's like one of the few like Christian religious things I actually really like. But we'll talk about it in the next part. Until next time. As always. Until next time. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I already said it. I know. I was gonna say it, then it was too dramatic, and I waited too long, and then you said it. I'm fucking confused. Oh.